Hi, thank you for choosing a Howard Wright stretcher. This short video covers the operation of an M9 trauma stretcher, but applies to all Howard Wright stretchers. Please read and understand the instruction for use manual and remove all packing materials before use. Let's start with the two electric control options. The first option has this basic handset at the head end. The second option has a backlit handset at the head end and an antenna control handset at the foot end. An antenna control handset has the same buttons as a backlit handset, but also includes function lockouts, a battery indicator, and an underbed light. The basic handset can be locked and unlocked using a small lockout key. Clockwise to lock the function, and anti-clockwise to unlock the function. To unlock the function on the attendant control handset, press and hold the key button and then press the function button. Unlocking a function is performed the same way. Any function locked out on the attendant control handset will be locked out on the handset at the head end. To raise and lower the backrest, legrest, or deck, press the appropriate button. To tilt the deck, press the head up or head down button. When transitioning from head down to foot down, or from foot down to head down tilt, the deck will pause at the level position before continuing. To form a chair position, press the chair up button until a comfortable position is reached. To flatten, press the chair down button. The stretcher has a power cord at the head end and should be plugged in whenever possible for optimum performance and to charge the battery. When the battery runs low, a beep will be heard when a function button is pressed. The stretcher should be plugged in to charge the battery. When the stretcher isn't plugged in, the power cord should be coiled around the cord holder or hung on the cord storage hook. A CPR backrest emergency release lever is located on either side of the stretcher. To lower the backrest quickly in an emergency, move the lever towards the head end of the stretcher and the backrest will lower. Push handles are located at the head end. To raise, lift and lock. To fold away, lift and lower. A bed end is also available and can be installed at the foot end by lowering the pegs into the sockets. Side rails are fitted to either side of the stretcher. To raise, simply lift the top rail. To lower, lift the release lever and push the top rail towards the foot end. Caster pedals can occupy three positions, brake, neutral and steer. To engage the brake, press the red pedal and all four casters will lock. To engage neutral, set the pedal to a horizontal position. When set in neutral, the stretcher can be manoeuvred in any direction. To engage steer, set the pedal to a neutral position Push the stretcher a short distance in the direction of travel and then press the green pedal. The steer caster is now locked in line and the stretcher is ready to go. An M9 Trauma has a full radio loosened deck. An X-ray cassette can be positioned anywhere on the lower deck. An X-ray cassette holder is available which attaches to the backrest. Simply locate the cassette on the pins at the base, place the cassette on the tray, and fix the cassette holder securely to the backrest with the hand wheel. The cassette can be adjusted up and down by using the hand wheel. An integrated IV pole is a factory fitted option at the head end. Raise the IV pole and simply lower it into a socket. To extend the IV pole, loosen the locking collar and move the hooks to the desired height. Then tighten the collar. A range of oxygen cylinder carriers are available. Plug the oxygen cylinder carrier into one of the stretcher's four corner accessory sockets. A storage basket is available and fits on the foot end of the bogey. Simply hook the basket over the bogey. For a full list of options and accessories, please visit our website. If you have any further questions, please consult the instructions for use or contact Howard Wright Customer Service.